Hi everyone, good evening from Martinique. I'm excited to welcome you again on your mat for my fourth video in English. There'll be another video to come in French tomorrow, ideally. The sun is setting here, so I hope we have enough light to finish this practice. I've got a really fun 360 mandala flow for you today. It's going to end in a sundial pose as well as splits if you're filling up for it. So if you have two blocks at your home, feel free to grab them. If you don't have blocks, you may not need them, but it's always optional to take uh, two books on each side. That'll be about the equivalent of two blocks. So when you're ready, let's get started in child's pose. Bring your big toes together to touch and open your knees wide the width of your mat. Walk your hands out in front of you and then press your forehead into the mat. Roll your shoulder raise back and start to activate your ujjayi breath. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Seal your lips, hold at the top. Exhale it out through your nose. So that nice sensation in the back of your throat. Inhale it again through your nose. Fill up, stop at the top. Exhale it out. Notice the waves crashing against the shore. Sound like the ocean in the back of your throat. Some people say it also sounds like Darth Vader too. <laughs> Whatever works for you. Sink back into your heels. Just walk your hands further out in front of you for more stretch in your back. Take this time to settle into your mat and set your intention for your practice not here necessarily to achieve anything, but just to enjoy yourselves in the next hour. So no matter what happens, if you're able to go into the posture you want or not, set the intention to really enjoy this. You've set this time out for your day, so you might as well have a little fun. And with that, take a big inhale, press into your hands, come into a tabletop pose, settle into your hips, feel free to move around a little bit here to wake up your spine. We won't take too much time here because we've got a lot of flow to do and I want to make sure we have some sunlight to work with. Walk your hands forward, tuck your back toes under, lift your knees up and shift into a downward facing dog. This is an upside down V shape of your body. You can drop both heels down to the mat, bend your legs and try and see if you can shift your heels a little farther closer to the mat. Stretch out through your spine. Nice long back here. Bend your knees if you need to keep your back straight. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, gaze between your hands and take slow steps to the top of your mat. Release your head down and capture opposite elbows for ragdoll. Sway from side to side here. Release from your low back. Inhale, sway back to center. Release your arms down by your side. Take a big inhale and slowly roll up to the top of your mat. And we'll meet in Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Roll your shoulders back. Peek down and root all four corners of your feet into the mat. Find your strong stance here. You can find a little dip in your coccyx to activate your Uddiyana Bandha, which is simply activating your abdominal muscles and turning your coccyx a little down. Take a deep breath in. Come back to that intention. And on your inhale, sweep your arms up over your head for mountain. Exhale, forward fold with your hands at heart center. Inhale, press your hands into your shin bones and extend your crown of your head out long. Relax your neck. Take a deep breath in. Find your straight flat back. Exhale, bend to your knees. Plant your hands into the mat and step back to a plank pose. Lots of force and activation in your ankles. Try to glue both of them together. You can shift forward and back here. Peek down and make sure that your wrists are in line with your elbows. Several options here for Chaturanga today. Little reminder, when we move down into Chaturanga as we're going through up downward facing dog, you can always drop down to your knees, 
and hug your elbows to the side. Just slide into the front of your mat and come into a baby cobra. Then lift up, pass through your knees to come back to downward facing dog. If you want to do the full chaturanga today, from high plank, simply lower down to the mat with your elbows hugged into the side, flip to the tops of your feet and lift up to an upward facing dog. Your knees are lifted off the mat to protect your low back. Tuck your back toes under, shift into downward facing dog. Great, we'll flow through that two times in together. One breath, one movement. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out with your lips sealed. Inhale, gaze to the top. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of the mat. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to mountain. Exhale, swan dive forward with your hands at heart center. Inhale, lift up halfway, hands on your shin bones. Exhale, bend your knees, step back to high plank. One inhale here and choose your variation. Drop down to your knees if you need to. Lower down to your mat in chaturanga. Inhale, flip to the tops of your feet and come up to an upward facing dog. Exhale, take your back toes under. Downward facing dog. One more time here. Imagine you're moving through water. Inhale, gaze to the top. Exhale, step forward. Inhale for halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, up to mountain. Exhale, dive forward, hands at start center. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, bend your knees, step back to plank. Lower down in the chaturanga of your choice. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, come back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, sigh out. And open your mouth and release some energy there. We're going to start our mandala flow. We're going to be moving around the directions of your mat. So get ready to have some fun. Inhale, lift your right leg up to the sky. Flex your foot and dial your toes down to the mat. Take another inhale in. Stretch your leg out to the back. Exhale, plant your feet between your toms. Inhale, lift up to crescent lunge. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, sink down a little lower. Inhale, spin forward to warrior two. Peek down, we want a 45 degree angle on our back foot. Strong arms here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink down a little lower. Inhale, come up in the star pose. So your heels are face in, your toes face out. Exhale into horse. Bring your hands to heart center and slowly bend down into your knees. Your knees are shifted out to the side. You can move around a little bit here to wake up your hips. We're going to get deep into those hips today, so take some time to blow that out here. Inhale, back up into star. Exhale, turn your warrior two to the other side. And we'll come into a low lunge, so windmill your arms down to both sides of your back foot. Inhale, step into chair with airplane arms. So bend into your knees, shift your weight into the back of your heels. Peek down, you should normally be able to lift all your toes off the mat. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, lift your left leg up into dasana. And we'll prepare to turn around. And we'll come into a crescent lunge with arms up. Exhale into airplane. Inhale, spin back into warrior two. This time your left heel is on the back of the mat. You're facing towards the back of your mat. Inhale up to star. Exhale for horse, hands at arch center. Move around. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two to the other side. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the mat and find your version of chaturanga. Don't hesitate to lift one leg off, come up into upward facing dog, and then back into downward facing dog. Great job, we'll try the other side. Inhale, lift your left leg up this time. Exhale, step through to low lunge. 
Inhale, crescent lunge. Left heel, a right heel lifted high off the mat. Inhale, sink down. Exhale, spin open to warrior two on the other side. Inhale, up for star pose. Exhale, into horse. Inhale, back to star. Exhale, warrior two to the back and come into your low lunge. Inhale, one breath right here. Exhale, step into chair with airplane arms. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Exhale, lift your right leg up this time into Dasana. Flex your foot, strong arms here. And exhale, step back into your crescent lunge. You can have your airplane's arm ready here or up at the top. Inhale, spin back into warrior two. Exhale, up into star. Inhale for horse pose. Exhale, up into star. Inhale, warrior two, back to the front of the room. Exhale, reverse your warrior. Spin your arms down to the mat and cartwheel and true your chaturanga. True means fine in French for the French listeners out there. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale back for downward facing dog. Great job. We'll flow through that one more time. One breath, one movement. Take a deep breath in to prepare. See your lips at the top. Exhale it out. We can do this. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, step through to low lunge. Inhale, up to crescent. Exhale, spin open for warrior two. Inhale, to star. Exhale, come down into your horse. Inhale, up to star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, plant both hands down low lunge. Exhale, step through to your chair with airplane arms. Inhale, up into chair. Exhale, lift your left leg up on the mat in Tadasana. Super. Exhale, step it back to warrior two. Inhale, up into star. Exhale, into horse. Inhale, up into star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, stretch back in reverse warrior and cartwheel your hands down to the mat. Find your version of Chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. Always an option there to skip the Chaturanga and meet us in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, step through to low lunge. Inhale, up to crescent. Exhale, spin open for warrior two. Inhale to star. Exhale, sink down into horse. Inhale, back up into star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, spin both hands down, low lunge. Exhale, step through to chair with airplane arms. Inhale, up into chair. Exhale, lift your right leg up into dasana. And inhale, step back into warrior two. Strong warrior two here. Inhale, up into star. Exhale, sink down into horse. Inhale, back up into star. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down and find your version of chaturanga. Lift that back leg if you wish. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, let it go. Open your mouth if you need to. We'll do that one more time each side, adding on a little bit of movement here to start opening up our hips and shoulders. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, step it through to low lunge. Inhale, up into crescent. Exhale, open into warrior two. Inhale, for star pose. Exhale, sink into horse. Inhale, back up into star. Exhale, warrior two to the back. Inhale, spin your hands down for low lunge. Exhale, step both feet to the top for chair with airplane arms. Release the back of your neck to try avoid clenching there. Inhale, arms up to the sky. 
Exhale, lift your left leg up into Tadasana. Inhale, back to crescent lunge. And exhale, spin open into warrior two. Inhale, lift your arms up to the sky. Exhale, release your hands out to the side. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, fold down for Prasarita, forward fold. You can stay right here with your hands, just resting firmly on the mat. Or you can capture the outside edges of your feet with your hands. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, side out and release a little more. One more breath in. And exhale. Feel free to release your hands to the side and you can plant both hands back on the mat. This time shift your left hand more towards the center. Take a deep breath in and lift your right arm up to the sky. Opening up to the side, feel a nice stretch in your body. Release your head. Avoid clenching in your neck. Inhale here. Exhale, drop your right hand down. And this time lift your left arm up to the ceiling. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, twist and open a little further. Inhale in. Exhale, release. Both hands down. You can extend your arms out to the side. Take a deep breath in. And slowly unroll your spine to come up to standing with your arms to the side. Shift your toes to the front and sink back into your warrior two. Inhale to reverse. Exhale to cartwheel your arms down. Come back into a chaturanga and lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale for downward facing dog. Great job, last side here. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, step through to low lunge. Inhale, up for crescent. Exhale, spin open to warrior two. Inhale, up into star pose. Exhale, sink down into horse. Inhale, star. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, for low lunge. Exhale, chair pose with airplane arms. Inhale, for chair. Exhale, lift your right leg up and step it back to crescent lunge. Feel free to release into airplane arms here. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, spin back into warrior two. Inhale, up for star pose. Exhale, release your arms by the side and get, step down into prostrita. Forward fold on the other side. Same thing here, feel free to release your hands on the mat, or you can capture the outside edges of your feet. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, sink down a little further. One more deep breath. Exhale, release down. Inhale, reach your arms back out to the side and slowly rise up to the top. Exhale, come into warrior two. Inhale to reverse your warrior. Exhale, spin your arms down to the mat. Find your expression of chaturanga. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale, step back to downward facing dog. Great job. Take a deep breath in through your nose. See your lips. Exhale, release it out at the top. Drop down to your knees. You can feel free to come into a child's pose here to take a break. Another option is embryo by releasing your arms out to the side, planting your forehead to the mat. Take some time to breathe here. One deep breath in through the nose. Exhale it out. If you lost your breath there, it was a pretty dynamic, fast moving flow. Your heart should be racing a little bit. You have increased your heart rate. So take some time to slow that down here. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, walk your hands to the front of the mat. Press into your hands to lift your forearms and come into a tabletop pose. Tuck your back toes under, lift your knees off the mat, and we'll meet back in downward facing dog. 
We're gonna start preparing for our splits here. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, step your foot through to crescent lunge again on this other side. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale, twisted crescent. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right knee, right thigh, pardon, and start to lengthen and twist with every breath, every movement. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lengthen and twist a little further. Great job here. Take a deep breath in, and then step your left foot to the top, and you'll find yourself in chair here. Great job. One more breath. And we'll come up to standing at the top with your hands at heart center. Moving into airplane pose here. You can keep your hands at your heart. Lift your right leg up like we did earlier in Tadasana. And slowly start to kick it back for airplane. Keep your hands at heart center or stand your arms out to the side for the full expression. Take one breath in here. Exhale, bend to your front leg if you need to. Release your hands down to the mat. Release your head for standing splits. Take a deep breath in here. Exhale, sink down a little further. One more deep breath in. See if you can lift up just a little higher in the back. Exhale, sink down. Inhale to release. You'll find yourself in a low lunge here. Start to walk your foot, your left foot, out to the edge of your mat. We'll meet in a lizard pose or a runner's lunge. You can keep your hands pressed into the mat and extend it here. Or you can release your back leg down and come to your forearms, rolling on the outside edges of your left foot. Release your head here and continue to breathe. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Seal it at the top and exhale, sigh it out. Great job. One more breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. Release that tension in your neck. Roll out, drop your head down. Inhale, press into your palms. Lift your forearms up the mat and start to shift your left foot back to the center. Now, this is where if you have those brick bricks, or your, your blocks, books, anything that can be a prop on the side to lift your arms up a little higher, feel free to grab them here. If not, if you feel comfortable moving into the splits, we'll first start in half splits. So simply start to glide your left foot out to the front, keep your front feet flexed, front foot flexed, pardon, and then walk your hands down, start to stretch it out. See how with every breath you can sink down a little farther. I want to challenge you here now, if this feels comfortable, to start to slide down into that left heel. Maybe you're sliding off the mat and then start to use your toes to walk your right leg back. Walk your hands next to your hips and try to shift both hip bones forward. Stay right here and breathe. Breathe into the street stretch. Again, find your props on the side if you need to. It doesn't matter how deep you go. One more deep breath in. Exhale, release. We'll gracefully try to get out of this posture by sliding the left foot back and walking. You're just gonna lift the right knee forward and step it back to the middle of your mat. Then slowly bring both knees in line Bring both hands to the top of the mat. Use your back toes to push back to downward facing dog. Feel free to lift your legs here. You can turn both angles, ankles to really stretch out there and reactivate the circulation. Great job. Take a deep breath in. See your lips. And exhale, side out. Inhale, lift your left leg up to the sky. Exhale, step your foot to the top. Inhale, crescent lunge. Same thing here, take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink down a little lower. Inhale, bring your hands to heart center. Exhale, reach the crown of your head to the top of the room. Inhale, crescent twist to the left, 
hook your right elbow to the outside of your left thigh and press into your palms to roll open and open your shoulder blades just a little more. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, twist a little further. One more breath. And exhale, we'll step to the top and we'll come into our twisted chair here. Another breath in. Exhale, release. Inhale, we'll move into an airplane pose here. So keep your hands at your heart to start. Root down into your left foot and lift your right leg up. Exhale, step it back for airplane. Feel free to reach out your arms to the side, flex your foot down. If you've gotten mixed up on the sides or you fall out of your practice like I just did there, no worries. Just feel free to come right back into it. Switch your sides. One more inhale here. Exhale, release down into the mat for your standing splits. Take one breath in. Exhale, sink down a little further. One more inhale. And exhale, release back into the mat and we'll start with our half splits. And find whatever side you didn't do before, extend your heel out and start to move into your half splits. And when you feel comfortable, start to glide down. Now, if you've gotten mixed up, no worries. That's easy to do here. Try to even out your sides and bring the other foot forward and glide through. Use your bricks if you need to, those books. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, sink down a little further. One more breath. And we'll come out gracefully by sliding the foot forward, bending the front leg, and bringing both feet in line here. Press your palms firmly into the mat, tuck your back toes under, and we'll shift back into a downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release out. Inhale, come to have a seat on your knees and then sit back on your heels. A little, little reminder there, you know, sometimes with the mandala practice, you can get turned around on your sides or like I just did with the crescent lunge and sometimes mix it up and then do the same leg, leg twice. If you do that, that's no worries. Feel free to have some time here just to even it out. You can hit the video on pause should you need. You want to make sure that both cheeks are even, <laughs> should you say. You know, something that happens with yoga, and that's the great thing about um, mandala practices too, when you turn around on your mat, you can try and change your perspective, but sometimes it throws us off. <laughs> so a little nice challenge for us today. So now we're going to move into our peak posture, which is sundial. What we'll do is we'll start on our left leg. So keep your right leg bent. And we're going to bring the inside of our left arm to hook on to the outside of our left leg. Capture that and then imagine that you're holding like a baby or a puppy here, rocking and rolling the baby. You're going to hook your, um, your elbows to your feet. So this is what it looks like from the side. So you have a little like basket with your legs. If you're comfortable here, that's great. With your left arm, you're slowly going to slide it under your left leg and almost like you have a backpack here. Press your left arm or left hand firmly into the mat out to the side. Try to find, see if you can get your left leg just a little higher. Try to open up that hip. If this is your maximum here, stay. If you feel like you can open up your hip into sundial, with your right hand, grab the outside edge of your left foot and then start to extend your foot out. And with your head, you're gonna tuck it underneath your armpit on the right and extend out through your leg. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, see if you can open a little further. One more breath. Exhale, release, let it go. <sighs> Feel free to take a half lotus here if that's in your practice by hooking your left foot 
on the crease of your right hip. If you want to take a full lotus to prepare for the other side, that's also available to you by bringing your right foot on the inside like of your left hip crease. Take another breath in. Exhale, sigh it out. More deep breath. And breathe it out. And we'll unhook our legs slowly and carefully, and we'll move into sundial on the other side. You'll notice some difference, obviously, between the two sides. Totally normal. Respect your limits. So find your stance. Your left leg is bent here. You're going to hook your right foot to the inside of your left arm, right at the crease. And then wrap your arms around with your right arm is hugging your right knee. Flex your foot and find your little baby imaginary basket here. And I'll we'll start to prepare for the pose. Once you feel like you've warmed up, lift your right arm up and then slide under your leg and find your backpack on this side. Plant your right hand firmly into the mat. Capture the outside edge of your foot with your left leg and start to open up into sundial. Raise your head down and press open. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, open a little further. One more good breath for good measure. You can do it. Exhale, bend and release. Great job. Find another lotus or half lotus with your legs if that's accessible to you and your body. Usually we get comfortable with doing the lotus or half lotus on one side, so I challenge you to try to do it on the other side here and see if that's something that's accessible for you. No matter what may have happened there or how far you could have gotten, if you mixed up your legs in the splits or you got your standing breaths off, no worries. Take this practice as an effort towards moving towards something and improving every day. This is what we do. You know, it's called yoga practice, not yoga perfect. So keep that in mind with every practice that you do from here on out, including this day. <laughs> Feel free to uncross your legs now and we'll start into our cool down. Roll down to your back. We'll do a version of pigeon on our back. Lift your left leg up, bend your leg, and place your left ankle on your right thigh. Lift your left leg, or on your, yes, on your right thigh, pardon. Lift your right leg up and feel the free to capture your shin bone or your thigh. Or looking for here is to really bring your legs closer together. You want to feel a nice stretch in your left hip here. Take another deep breath in. Exhale, reach your legs a little closer. One more deep breath in. Exhale. Inhale to release and shift to the other side. This time bring your right leg to the top. So your right angle is pressing to the top of your left thigh. Lift your left leg up, keep your leg bent, and capture whatever part of your leg is most comfortable for you. If you want a little more stretch in your right hip, feel free to use your right hand to press and increase the distance of your legs to your torso. Take another breath in. Exhale, release both legs down. Extend your arms out by your sides here. Your middle fingers should be touching the back of your heels. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, start to press into your feet and slowly unroll your lower, middle, and upper back. You can stay right here or cross your hands underneath your back to find more leverage and lift up even higher. Keep your chin away from your chest. Inhale. Exhale to lift up one inch taller. One more breath in. 
and exhale, release your hands to the side and slowly roll down on your back. Hug your knees into your chest. Flip the palms of your feet or the palms of your feet, whatever you want to call them, to the ceiling. And capture the inside or outside edges of your feet. Your sacrum is planted firmly on the mat. For happy baby, smile here. You can rock from side to side to massage your spinal cord. We'll come back to center here. Plant the palms of your feet together and open your legs out wide to the side like a butterfly. Close your eyes and bring one hand to your belly and the other hand to your heart for Supta Baddha Konasana. Just breathe here. Start to seal in the practice. All the hard work that we put forth today. Deep breath in, exhale it out. Blink your eyes open, capture the outsides of your legs with your hands and glue your knees back together. Hug your knees into your chest and then rock up and down. We'll come up to the tops of our feet and we'll come into a hero's pose here. It's almost our final posture. So if you've never done hero's pose, it simply is just Coming to sit back on your heels, you're going to create some space uh, between your two feet in the back. So have your knees planted together. And then spread your legs out wide, kind of like child's pose. So your knees are together at the top and then your legs are out, flared out to the side. Sit in between your legs. If that's already your maximum, this is too much, no worries. You can just sit on your heels. Don't spread your legs out farther than you need to. Make sure you're protecting yourself. You can stay right here. This is already a big stretch in your hips, or if you feel comfortable, plant your hands on the backs of your feet and start to roll back down in your forearms and then slowly lie down on the mat. Free to extend your arms overhead and capture opposite elbows here. And close your eyes and breathe. We won't be here very long. Again, if this is not accessible for you, just stay sitting on your heels, back upright. Inhale, release your arms to the side, and then stretch your arms out long in front of you. Press into your forearms to come up onto your foreheads for like a mini version of fish pose. Your hands are planted on the back of your feet. Release your head to the back. It's kind of like a combination of fish and camel pose here. A big heart opener, so don't forget to breathe. Take a couple deep breaths here. And inhale, slowly press into your elbows to lift up to the top. Press into your palms, come up on your knees, and slide your feet to the side, and then extend your legs out far in front of you. Feel free to take a forward fold here. Capture your feet if that's accessible, or the sides of your shin bones, just opposite posture and we've opened up to the back so we're going to keep our bodies even and do the other side. Inhale, release and exhale, slowly lower down, last bit of abdominal or forward here and release into your final relaxation, Shavasana. Soak up all the benefits of our mandala practice today it was fast and furious if you want to call it but a good effort regardless i invite you to take as much time as you need to here you can put the video on pause this is your relaxation so make it your own release any last tensions and enjoy a moment, or even longer than a moment, 
when you wish of silence. Whenever you're ready, you can start to wiggle in your fingertips, your toes. Start to awaken your body. Drop your head from side to side. Stretch your arms out up overhead and your legs out long. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release. Ah. Like you're waking up first thing in the morning. Roll over to one side of your body using your arm as a pillow. Take one breath in here. And then press up into your palms and come to have a final seat on your mat. I have no sunlight left here, so that's good timing. We'll bring our hands to our heart center to steal in our practice, whether this be the end of your day, like so is here the middle of your day, the beginning of your day, recognize and thank yourself for taking the time to roll out your mat. In your hands to forehead, or your center of intuition, I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. With that, I say namaste, mercy, thank you, and I look forward to seeing you again on your mat soon.